So I'm going to need you to state your full name. Sharon Marie Art. Maiden name was Alan. Okay. Um, so, uh, how old were you when you first thought about becoming a nurse? Mm, probably about eight. All right. Uh, Didn't have a lot of choices way back then. It was nursing or teaching. So, when did you definitely decide to become a nurse? Oh, I knew I was going to be a nurse. Just from the get-go? Yes. Yeah. All right. Uh, yeah. What, basically, what, what, what other things influenced this uh, decision? I think I just always was a caregiver. I think I always liked to take care, take care of things. I didn't think I wanted to be a teacher. As it happened, I ended up uh, being a nurse and a teacher. So I got the best of both worlds in my book. So, All right. Uh, how would you describe your background? You know, your parents. Did you come from an extended family or a smaller family? I'm an army brat, an only child, rotten. And probably the first time that I ever got to stay in one place for any extended amount of time was when I came to Moore Hall and was there for three years. And that was just wonderful. It was like home. Before that, I moved almost every six or eight months because my dad would be transferred or whatever. All right. Um, what are who were your support systems prior to coming to CHSN? Mostly my mom. She was, I think she always wanted to be a nurse, and her mother died very young of TB, and uh, I think she was frustrated that she could never go on to school and ended up having to go to work. She always said she was the reason I became a nurse, but I don't believe that. <laughs> All right. Uh, what schools of nursing did you consider, and why did you choose CHSN? It was the best. At that time, it was the best on the West Coast, and I was living in Texas at the time when I made that decision, and um, the other ones were on the East Coast. And uh, since I was born in California, this was, this was fine. It was a good school of nursing. And they were right when they said, when you graduated, you didn't have any trouble finding a job. My first job was a supervisor based on my background on my schooling in this school. Well, that's pretty impressive. It was. Didn't make much money, though. <laughs> Had to do it for love. <laughs> All right. Uh, what do you recall about the application process? You know, who interviewed you or, you know, whether it was an individual group? I, as I recall, I, I remember meeting with Miss Nicholas who at that time was probably older than God, although I, I had her on a pedestal of her own. And my mother thought she was just wonderful because she was real no-nonsense, so she figured she'd take care of her baby. So I just remember Miss Nicholas, really, and then Miss Tobin's after that. Uh, was there anybody else with you, or was it like a one-on-one? -on -one? It was a one-on-one, -on -one. yeah. I don't remember. And then they did all the psychological testing and all that, and I thought, well, that's interesting. They probably knew more about me than I did. <laughs> all right. So uh, what are your early memories of your first classes at the School of Nursing? Miss Tobin's. You've probably heard that a lot. Yes. Um, yeah, Miss Tobin's Nursing Arts. And um, just having to get up every morning and come running out that front door of Moore Hall and it was kind of brisk because when we started we were in the class of 59A so we started in January so when we came out it was cold and we'd come over to the hospital for breakfast and uh, if you were late you just missed breakfast and uh, I just it was just really a nice warm time it was like a family for me it was so special just to be in one place it was, it was great. All right. Uh, let's see. Uh, what was California Hospital like when you arrived? Old, established. Um, I think really very professional. Nurses still stood up for the doctors, which changed quite a bit in the next few years. <laughs> um, I think that's. I, I was just really impressed. I was a little in awe. Fortunately, I had a mama that was paying all my bills, so and the bills were nothing like they would be today, but it was certainly appreciated. All right, uh, if applicable. Uh, what do you remember about moving into the dorm? You know, did you have a roommate? Hey. 
or was she somebody you already knew? Maybe? I don't even know if she's here today or not, but <laughs> if she sees this, yes, I, I did have a roommate and she smoked and I did not. And I liked uh, all kinds of music, and she wasn't impressed. <laughs> so as soon as we reached the point that we could go our separate ways, and some of the kids uh, actually were eliminated or dropped out, uh, we were able to have our own rooms. And I stayed in mine, and she went. I, I think she room, might have roomed with somebody else that also smoked. So what was a dormitory life, life like? You know, you worked so hard. We were unpaid workers. We were, um, that's where we got the great experience because we literally staffed the hospital um, and we were not paid for it. So you didn't have a whole lot of free time. Um, they were very strict. You had a curfew. You did have some activities that went on in the dorm. Um, I don't remember a whole lot of those because I think I went out most of the time when I could. I dated a lot on the weekends um, and got to see a lot of things because I was in, as I said, in one place for a change. Um, the house mothers were great. They gave me a bad time because I was always coming home with some excuse on why I was late. I even started bringing little pieces of taillight. Honest, we were hidden. <laughs> we were. We really were. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Mike, do you remember any of your um, house mothers? Miss Armstrong. And I, rem I can see the other one, but I can't remember her name. But Miss Armstrong was so very motherly. Um, she just kind of really embraced the girls. And, and, you know, they would always think they were putting something over on her, but I suspect. Nothing really was missed. I think she was pretty sharp. And she was probably about 60 even then, I think. All right, um, let's see. Uh, what are some of your favorite memories of the time spent at the library? <laughs> I don't remember the library. <laughs> I must have been there. Um, I don't remember much about the library. That's very interesting. I saw that question on the paper and I thought, was that something that came up later that was a big deal? I know we studied a lot. Um, I don't remember doing a lot of studying in the library. And I was going to LA City College at the same time. You didn't have a lot of free time during the week. You worked split shifts, so you worked in the morning, and then you had this free time in the middle of the day, and then you worked the evening shift. And you studied when you could, so I don't remember the library, except over the college. Well, since you mentioned you went to LATTC, <laughs> um, what was your experience there and how did you balance that between, you know, CHSN? It was, it was really interesting because at the time, <clears throat> excuse me, at the time they had the opportunity to either go to USC or go to LACC. You could go to USC and you could get your bachelor's degree at the same time. And I said, oh no, I don't want to do that, that's going to take too long. I might want to get married and <clears throat> raise a family. And that was why I didn't go into medical school, which was what I had originally given some thought to. Not a lot, but some. Um, LACC and even the nursing school, I had to wait to do because I graduated from high school when I was younger than they would let me come into nursing school. So I went to El Camino for, I think, one semester, maybe two. Um, so I got a chance to kind of see what college life was like. It was kind of fun, but I was really just waiting for them to open the doors and say, okay, you're old enough, you can come in. You had to be 18 to come into nursing school. All right, um, let's see. Where were you living before you came to California Hospital? If uh, it was different from Southern California, what were your first impressions? No, I was at, I was at home. Finally, we were back in California again. <clears throat> um, yeah, I was living in Inglewood, so I was living with my mom, and I, my dad had just come home from Korea, I believe. I think that's right. He was gone more than he was here, so. All right. Uh, what was downtown Los Angeles like when you know when you were in school? Were there any major events that occurred while you were here? 
Um, I don't know about major events that occurred while I was here. I came into nursing school in January of 59 or 56 and I graduated in 59. So in that period of time, I, I, I don't think there was a whole lot. There were several things that happened afterwards after I graduated. Um, but we used to walk all over the place around here, which was just really bizarre when I think about it now. I, I look around as I was driving down here. I thought it used to be a little coffee shop down on the corner. And <clears throat> I used to have, um, you know, young men that would meet me for coffee because you couldn't stay out late on a weeknight. So if they wanted to see you at all, it was usually long enough to have a cup of coffee <laughs> after study hours and before lights out. So we would go down to the corner and sit in the coffee shop and have coffee. Um, but it was nothing to wander all over the streets down here and, and feel pretty good about it. You know, it was very familiar and comfortable. All right. Um, now that you mention it, uh, what was the social life like? while you were attending? I went out a lot. <laughs> I was telling my daughter as we were trying to find our way down here today, I said, you know, I, I'm thinking back about the social life in the dorm and I don't remember a lot of that. I remember getting to go to all kinds of fun places like the Moulin Rouge and the Brown Derby and all those neat places that are no longer here that were part of history, which makes me feel like an antique, but it was really neat. I, I just, we really got to do a lot of things, and I had never been able to do that when I was home because my mother was very strict, and I really didn't go out that much, so I had a good time. She said, were you a bad girl? I said, no, Julie, I wanted to be a nurse, and by golly, I was going to graduate. <laughs> said, no, I just had a lot of fun. <laughs> um, so in your opinion, uh, what is the best thing about nursing to you? I loved nursing. I loved bedside nursing. I used to say that I was the original Flo Nightingale right after the real original one. I was very disappointed when it changed and all of a sudden it was just all paperwork and your little computers and the aides were not doing what we used to do uh, and you didn't hardly have time for hands-on. And that was a part that was really so terrific, I thought. And I missed that. And I went into surgery. So, and I hated surgery when I was in nursing school. But that happened to be where I ended up. Um, now that you mentioned that, um, hmm. what do you think were some of the downsides of nursing? Of nursing? Uh, or yeah. nursing school? Uh, nursing, nursing school, just in general. I loved the whole time I was here. I really did. I think it was probably, for me, probably based on my background and my family life and moving and all that, it was probably the best time of my life. I really, really had fun. Um, downside, I really can't think of any downsides. I worked nights there at the end, and there used to be a little little Mexican place, right? Somewhere down the street, and we used to go over, you probably don't want to put this in there. We used to go over there when we got off from nights, and we would have um, chili omelets and beer. And that was our evening meal because we were going to go back and go to bed and everything was in walking distance so it was wonderful. So we had a lot of fun. All right. Um, in your opinion, again, uh, why should we remember California Hospital School of Nursing? Oh, because it just turned out really quality nurses and everybody knew it. They did. It was, uh, it was special. Is there anything else you might want to, you know, put in about your experiences or anything? Hmm, I'm going to get weepy if I do. <laughs> <laughs> this is the first time I've been back. Um, I actually taught here for a while before I moved to Colorado. Um, and one of the girls that came into my operating room program was actually born in the nursery and in the nursery here at the same time I was doing my OB rotation. 
So I figure somewhere in that period of time, I probably took care of her as a newborn, and then she came into my OR program, which was just really kind of weird. And she's here today, so it's kind of neat. She's, oh, she's the one that taught me how to work in the OR. It's nice. <laughs>